Welcome to the channel. In this one, we'll be talking about Vivi and Ecomi paying mods in NFTs. Is this good? Is it bad? Let's just go ahead and just dive right in. All right, so welcome to the video. Um, this is just a talking head video going over what I kind of think about it. Now, in my opinion, there's way bigger issues to talk about than this, in my opinion, like account merging and crypto pay in. I think those have a way bigger impact on the app itself than this topic or issue in the community. But since there was a lot of Twitter spaces going on and I can see why people were talking about it, we're just going to dive into it and what I kind of think about it. Now, I do have experience as a influencer media manager, as well as being an affiliate and making a lot of money, um, you know, in the affiliate programs of different, you know, software companies and things like that. Um, I came from that kind of space of software and earnings and things like that. So I know what to expect on both sides, being on both sides of the affiliate and the influencer and media manager and helping craft and build those programs on each side, right? So with that being said, what I kind of think about this situation is, um, well, first of all, if you don't know what's happening, let's talk about that. You know, Vivi is a paying mods essentially in the Discord to perform you know services essentially or it's set up like a reward program so the moderator does their thing and they get rewarded for it is how it's kind of set up and they can even roll over their rewards for like the next month and get a better um, chance of getting a better nft essentially or a collectible so with that being said discord is a siloed off community and you have professional tools to moderate that and so when you look at it from vivi's perspective that's why I think that what they're doing in terms of the Discord makes pretty much sense, right? In terms of a company perspective and liability. So I, I could see why, in terms of the ambassador side, why they don't just release it in, out into the wild. Because Discord, essentially, you can manage that. So that's what I kind of think there. But I'm not saying that's okay to reward mods with NFTs. But at the same time, it is set up like a rewards program and how it's kind of structured. So it is like they are performing some type of service for this reward or trying to work towards this reward program in order to redeem a collectible. And how Vivi essentially goes in is this is from kind of Alex G joining a space yesterday was saying that they go in and using Vivi's own gems or uh, what have you, and they go in and buy a collectible off the floor and take that collectible and then give that collectible to the mod. So it's not like they're using sub 40 mints or you know special mints or anything like that. They're just buying the floor collectible and they are transferring that to the mod essentially. And then the mod in turn can obviously list that collectible on the floor if they want to. And in some cases, this is what people have noticed is that some of the mods have listed on the floor for sale and um, yeah, that's kind of like, obviously that's kind of up to them to do it. They could keep the collectible or, you know, times are hard. So, you know, they're probably gonna list it at this point in time. Just depends on what your situation is. Um, I'm no one to judge, but I could see why this is like a sour look or a bad look in terms of um, how people are perceiving it, right? It's a lot of optics going on here. And in my opinion, how that works, how VB goes in with the gems, they buy, they buy it off somebody. So they're adding liquidity in, transferring the asset to a mod. Then the mod can go in and list. So it actually changes hands a couple times. And um, so a couple different things happen, right? And maybe if the mod does floor it, maybe that's an opportunity for somebody to pick that up even lower. So there is a couple of opportunity things to it as well that people aren't really seeing the whole uh, process here because if EB does go in, they buy your collectible, that's probably gonna be good for you. And uh, if the mod lists it for sale, that's also could be good for somebody to pick it up lower. So there is actually a couple pros to this. Now the cons are, is people are saying that this adds you know or this basically transfers the the exit liquidity to the consumer and i could see why optically that doesn't look good right um you know i'm not necessarily for or against it now i do know some of the mods and they have literally performed over 15 hours in some cases per day if not more in some circumstances and some of them have families and kids and things like that um, so I don't remind them getting rewarded. I think it's kind of a negligible effect on the entire market, but optically I could see why that makes sense to maybe look at it in a different perspective or maybe change the program, make it more structured. Um, I, I get why they're just doing it on discord because like, again, discord is siloed off and you have professional tools to moderate it. And as a brand, that's good. You can moderate your content 
and kind of dictate what goes out and basically avoid like scams and things like that with an ambassador program or like a referral or affiliate program that you release out into the wild you have a lot less control and you have to actually craft it um, typically affiliate programs you have to hire a affiliate manager and with an ambassador program same thing there you have to have people facilitating these programs and making sure that this is ran by legal and all the pieces fit together so it's not easy as just hey let's just throw out a, a referral program or a rewards program or an ambassador program it doesn't work like that it has to be um, structured in such a way and, and in some cases ambassador programs don't even pay they just give an opportunity to be seen more and help grow your social following so that is something to consider as well so there is you know different sides to each situation so um, now I'm very much for an advocate of an affiliate referral or ambassador program um, or a combination of those things but as I know it does take resources and you do have to you know consider if you do a referral or affiliate you have to code that into the system and vv is proprietary so you are taking away developer resources that could be otherwise better spent scaling the app or working on other things right so i think those things will come we mentioned we seen dan crothers mentioned that the creator tool set um coming i think race has mentioned it as well on in the vviverse so it is coming it is something they are aware of and that's why i don't necessarily beat it with a dead horse I brought it to the table long ago in Discord, and I know that they've probably seen it. So for me, I don't like to talk a lot about a ton of issues because I've either brought it up before in Discord long ago, or uh, somebody, obviously the community brings it up like all the time on Twitter. So that's why you don't see me bring up like tons of issues like this, or when I do bring ideas to the table, I do it in a positive way in like Discord or whatever, or like, hey, have you guys considered this? Or it would be a good idea to implement this type of program. That's my, my kind of thoughts on everything there. Now, in terms of the mods getting paid in NFTs, um, it is an interesting dynamic, and a lot of people didn't know Vivi just uses their own gems to buy a collectible off the floor and then turn re, uh, transfers that to a mod. But you kind of end up in that same situation where you know maybe the mod floors it, um, and you could look at it as exit liquidity, or you could look at it as an opportunity. It just depends on what your situation is. Um, and everybody has a different opinion on it. I'm kind of torn because I know some of the mods. I think they deserve it. They've been working 15 hour plus days from the beginning to help grow the Discord onboard new users, which in turn provides more liquidity to the market. And um, in Granola Warfare's case, he has created giant tips and tricks list from the very beginning and made a lot of people a lot of money. Not to defend him or anything like that. I just think it's it's unfair to like pick him apart and you know go after like some of the mods right this isn't a mod issue you know i think people should be voicing their you know uh, i guess uh things at vv directly and maybe ways they can improve you know bringing ideas to the table and i've seen a lot of people talk about it in twitter spaces and again i'm a for the ambassador program but i do realize it takes an immense amount of resources to actually build that up and have the uh, legal team check that out so I don't know. I'm torn on the whole issue. I don't know if there's a definitive answer in there. I just wanted to go into how it was currently working and they may decide to change that up depending on obviously the community and how they reacted to it. Um, in terms of market impact, like again, I will say to me, it's kind of negligible because the way they transfer the assets over and that collectible would already been on the floor anyways. Um, and also there's bigger issues, in my opinion, like crypto pan and mer account merging and how that will impact impact the market. Me and Chris Coffee did a really good video on that. If you want to go and catch that, um, we just did a stream on that just a couple days ago. And you definitely want to check that out if you want to get more information about it. Also, the whole Apple situation, we talked about that in, in the stream as well. So you definitely check that out and let me know what your thoughts about this is. Again, I think this is much smaller in terms of market impact than um, the other issues. That's just my opinion. I'm torn on the issue. I don't know if I have a definitive answer there, but that's just my thoughts on kind of both sides of the aisle there. And I kind of hope that helps expand your mind and how you think about that as well. But yeah, let me know what you think. And I'm always reading the comments down below. Maybe I missed something, maybe I'm wrong. And also if you have blockchain data, I'd love to see it. Send me the information, I'd love to take a look. But with that being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and the video. And as always, be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll catch you later. Peace.